I know you may not recognize me after the last two hurricane vlogs that I posted because I actually have my hair and makeup done. Um, but yeah, no, so I'm back. I am in Dallas currently, which is crazy, crazy, crazy because um, I'm actually working out of Dallas today. I'm still on reserve. I So last the last two vlogs I did of me in the hurricane, I was on a reserve block that Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I just got back. Wednesday from being stuck in the hurricane and then I had another reserve block the next Friday Saturday and Sunday um, But the airport in Houston isn't even scheduled to open until tomorrow, which is Saturday um, So scheduling called me and they saw they said that we see your address is Dallas on file and so um, If you want you can work your reserve block out of Dallas and I was like, oh, yeah, absolutely Of course, you know, it's one less commuting trip that I have to make I can work from home initially and so yeah, so um I checked my board earlier today. I think it was like ninth on the list for reserves. And I checked my board. I got to sleep in. They didn't call me at 3 a.m. or anything. Um, they didn't call me at all because I checked my board before they even called. But I have a trip that I have to report for at um, 4.30. It's about 3 o'clock right now. I just finished doing my hair and makeup. Um, I, it's only a two-day trip right now. I'm good for three days of reserve which means they can keep using me. Um, so there's a good chance that's gonna change, but right now it's just a two-day trip, so I work two legs today from Dallas to Baltimore, Baltimore to Rochester, New York, and then tomorrow, as the schedule says right now, I'm supposed to do the opposite and work backwards from Rochester to Baltimore, Baltimore back to Dallas. So we'll see how that all turns out. I'm on reserve, which means they can throw me all kinds of ways, and I have a feeling tomorrow, <laughs> It's going to be a crazy day because, like I said, they are opening the Houston airport again tomorrow on a very reduced schedule. Um, so it's not like all the flights that usually go out of there, but they're they're trying. And there's so, so much going on with the hurricane stuff. I really want to update you guys on that. And so maybe I'll do that tonight before um, before I go to bed when I get to the hotel because I don't even have all the details on it. But, I mean, this is just the after effects of the hurricane that we've been dealing with. And... The cool thing is, the really cool thing is that my company that I work for, which is so amazing, um, they're doing a lot, a lot, a lot to um, find ways to help the people in Houston. And that means a lot to me after being in all that mess because I've been trying to kind of find my own ways to help. And I still do want to, but it's amazing that I can go through the place that I work to try to do that. So I'm going to update you all on some of that. Um, I know in my last vlog I talked to... That guy Earl and I talked to that guy um, Chuck who both uh, Earl didn't know the state of his house or where his dogs were which just breaks my my heart. Chuck didn't know the state of his vehicle so I'm going to text them both today. Hopefully I get an answer back and get an update for y'all um, on how things are with them by the end of this vlog. But for now I'm going to finish getting ready, get dressed and then probably head to the airport. Hey guys, I'm back. I'm in the hotel. How, why do I start all the vlogs with, hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, um, but I am, I'm back, I'm in Rochester, New York, I just got here a little while ago, um, it took me a while to even get into my room because the key that I got originally wasn't working, and I'm on the 11th floor, so I had to go all the way up, all the way down, and I'm starving, 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 so I, I didn't want to go downstairs to go look at the food, but I'm really, really hungry, so I think I'm going to have to go find something to eat down there. I left my lunch bag that uh, sometimes I pack with food in it in Houston, and I haven't been in Houston, so um, yeah, that's been interesting. Um, what else? What else? So I sent my texts out to um, Chuck and to Earl. But I haven't heard back yet, so once I hear back from them, I will let y'all know what the state of um, everything going on with them is because I know some of y'all have been wondering. And until then, I mean, my company's just been really great um, as far as supporting these people. Um, that we, blah, 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 I cannot talk. As far as supporting us, staff, crew, pilots, flight attendants, CSA, rampers, like everyone. Um, down to, you know, giving them money, giving them food, giving them clothes, whatever it is. And I knew that they would be because I work for the best company ever, so. But anyway, um, yeah, and then there's like this rescue flight that's going to go out soon. I don't know all the details and I'm trying to find it, but I can't seem to find it in my email. But it's like this rescue flight for abandoned animals and they're going to fill up the whole plane with animals and take them to like safety 
and I'm so excited and I wish I was working that flight that would make the best vlog can you imagine my flight full of dogs oh my god I'm sure it's like dogs and cats and other stuff but dogs I'm a sucker for dogs I always want to pet like the TSA dogs or the service dogs some of them yeah so anyway um yeah I don't have a whole lot of details on that but um there's just been a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot going on uh, but really for me I think I'm gonna um get dressed and then I'm going to go downstairs and try to find something to eat because I'm so hungry and um if I don't talk to y'all tonight, which I really might not, I might just go straight to bed, then I will talk to you tomorrow. Hey guys, good morning. Um, I'm just now getting up. It is like 10.30, but I didn't get in until late, late last night, so um, I'm allowed to sleep in, okay? Um, we leave in like an hour, so I need to get up and like get ready. But uh, I did not sleep good last night. I don't know what the deal was. I don't know. I was like having weird dreams. I was tossing and turning. My back hurts. I don't know what the deal is. But um, so I'm supposed to head back to Dallas today, which I really hope that I do. I know I'm still on reserve, so if things could change, possibly. But hopefully, I just stay on my trip. And I'm just working from Baltimore to, or from here to Baltimore, and then Bar Baltimore back to Dallas. So basically, the opposite of what I did yesterday. And I feel, like, kind of congested. Sorry if my um, voice sounds funny. Like, I feel like my nose is all clogged. I don't know. But, um, I'm ready to go home, honestly. Um, yesterday at work was great, though. I, oh, I'm so sorry. Yesterday at work was great, though. Everyone was fantastic. All the passengers were great. I had no issues. I just, um, I'm ready to be back at my house, um, after being gone for a week and then now being gone again. I'm re definitely ready for this break that I'm about to have. So I'm about to have like mm, nine days off, I think. No, like seven days off. I don't know. Seven to nine days off. And those are all days that I can spend at home. I'm thinking about going home to see my family. Like I'm trying to figure out what I want to do at that time. I'm thinking about picking up some trips because, you know, money. Um, but we'll see. Okay, guys, I'm talking to you as I'm packing up because I am running a little late. I need to head down to the lobby right now. Um, I need to be down there in just a minute. And um, But I did want to update you. I did hear back from Earl, the guy with the uh, dogs, and he let me know that he's going back to his house today. So he still doesn't know anything. I told him to let me know when he found something out. So as soon as I know something, you'll know something. Also, I heard back from Chuck, the other guy I talked to who walked three miles and left his truck. Good news on that front. His truck's okay. Thank goodness. So, there's a bright side to everything, and um, that is one of them. Um, so, hopefully we hear back from Earl today, and I'm going to head downstairs, and I'll see y'all somewhere. Maybe on the plane, maybe in Baltimore, maybe when I get back to Dallas. I don't know. I can't give you the answers you want. Elevators at our hotel aren't working, so I have to use the service elevator. I'm already late for my van time. I'm a little stressed out right now. I'm waiting for the service elevator. So here I am on this service elevator. It looks hella creepy. But I called the front desk to tell them to please pull the van for me. So, I don't know. I, I am a hot mess today. So what did I tell y'all? I told you I wasn't going to be done. I told you they were going to send me somewhere else, and sure enough, I'm dead heading to Austin right now, and so I'll be in Austin tonight. I was really looking forward to going home and being in my own bed, but not going to happen. So I'm on the plane now, going to dead head to Austin, and then I work four legs tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a long day, but oh well, here we go. So I'm here in Austin now. This is my hotel. I didn't even push the, ho the elevator button, um, but we have a cool little see-through glass elevator. is <laughs> this bed is not made <laughs> so y'all are seeing this just like me for the first time 
I don't think this room was finished with housekeeping. Um, I'm gonna have to give them a call. And I just walked in and um, the second bed, there's no sheets or comforter or anything here on this second bed. I don't know if they were still cleaning the room. What's here in room 214? Yes. I mean, my key worked, but... Yeah, that's fine. I'll just, um, do you want me to just head downstairs? Yes, if you don't mind. Okay, I'll be there in just a second. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Bye-bye. Bye. So, they are giving me a new room because, obviously, I don't know what happened here. And y'all know about these hotel beds. I don't know about these hotel beds. That's the thing. So, um, yeah, I don't know if anyone, if they've even been, I don't know. I don't know what's been going on, but... What I do know is that, yeah, no, I don't think they uh, have cleaned this yet because there's still um, trash in the trash can and uh, like a towel right here. So yeah, this room was definitely dirty. So I'm glad that I um, am going to a new room and let's, maybe they'll give me like a suite or something, right? Yeah, right. I made it. I'm finally back in my new clean room. Thank goodness. Both beds are made. Make sure. Let, I just like to. Let's double check. I just like to look. Yeah. Looks clean. Let's see. You just. You just never know. And I know that they didn't do that on purpose. And honestly, the bed that I was. That wasn't made had no sheets. So it's not like they just didn't wash sheets. It's just that they hadn't finished cleaning the room. So. Yes, this looks much better. Much, 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 much better. Um, I'll show y'all, show y'all the view. It's nothing to write home about. It's nothing really exciting. Um, we're just at the airport hotel. So if y'all can see that, it's just like some little area in the hotel. But yeah, I think they're really, really busy, honestly, because I think a lot of people from Harvey are still staying here. Um, I heard them talking about that at the front desk, so I'm gonna get, I'm gonna cut them some slack because honestly, like they're probably dealing with a lot of stuff right now. What is this sound? I can't get it to stop. Um, they're probably dealing with a lot right now, so I'm gonna let it slide. Just kidding. No, I understand. But yeah, so I'm just gonna hang out. I might get some food. I'm always eating. That's all I do in these vlogs is eat. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna get some food. And just chill out. I have to be up at like 9 in the morning. My day tomorrow is long. I work four legs tomorrow. And it's like a 12 hour day. So I need as much rest as possible. They weren't going to make this easy on me, were they? But I mean, after this, I have like 8 days off. So that's what I'm just trying to look to. Get to the end goal. Just get to the end of tomorrow. But I know y'all are going to miss me. Because that means if I don't have trips, I won't be vlogging. Unless y'all want to see like some vlog of like my regular day life or if there's like anything else y'all want me to talk about, um, comment down below and let me know because maybe I can find something to do while I'm off as far as like my vlogs and stuff. Just let me know. Hey guys, I'm back. So, um, I've already gotten ready, put my uniform on, um, woke up earlier this morning. I did not sleep that well. I slept okay, but I just woke up, like, extremely tired. I don't know. I don't know why. Um, it's not like these last few days have been very hard, but I am not looking forward necessarily to the long day ahead. I got four legs today. We go from Austin to Vegas, and then I, don't, I can't even remember all the legs we work back to, to Dallas. But once I'm in Dallas, I will be home. And then I'm home for, like, eight days, as I think I mentioned already. And I'm so ready for that break. Um, that's the most time I've had at home since I've gone to training. 
eight days at home sounds crazy to me right now. Like, I don't even know what to do with all that time. But, so, yeah, I just got to get through today. It's, like, 9 a.m. right now, and I get home at, like, 9 p.m. tonight. <laughs> so, it's going to be kind of a long day, but I'm just thinking about that end goal, about getting home and having all these days off. So, let's just get through today. I am a terrible vlogger. I don't even know why some of y'all watch me. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but I really did forget to vlog like all of my day today, and this was like the longest day that I had, and so there was plenty of stuff I could have vlogged, and I didn't, but we were busy. I did work four legs, but I'm back home now, um, and like I said, I'm home for a few days, but I actually picked up a turn for tomorrow, so I will be going from Dallas to Austin, Austin back to Dallas, because, you know, I got bills to pay and stuff. Um, so I'm thinking about actually extending this vlog, um, one more day, and I'm going to try to add some stuff in about my turn tomorrow. Um, so let's see that. Um, still update, haven't heard back from Earl on the condition of his house. Hopefully I hear back from him tomorrow because I'm just myself and very interested to know how things turned out for him. And I know some of y'all are as well. So hopefully I hear back from him before the end of this vlog. But yeah, no, I'm just here. Um, I'm at my house. I don't report till like 5 p.m. tomorrow. So I'm going to get some rest, sleep in, sleep in my own bed. It's not made, so don't judge me, okay? Are y'all's bed made? Are y'all's beds made? Probably, but no, not mine. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to get some rest. I'm tired. Um, I've been working a lot, but I still love my job. It's still amazing. I actually had a great, great, great day today. I had two crews that I worked with today and they were both really awesome. The second crew I worked with was really, really, really cool and they were just on their first day of their trip and so um, I left them in Dallas when I came to Dallas and um, they're still continuing on for two more days but yeah, so no, everything went really, really well. Um, I'm just ready to get some sleep and I will um, see y'all tomorrow when I get ready for my turn tomorrow. Okay guys, I'm back. I'm here at the Dallas airport. Um, I'm about to go on my turn. I was downstairs in the lounge for a little bit. Excuse me, ma'am. So I had to stop recording for a second because there was a guy as soon as I opened up the elevator and he was looking at me like I was a crazy person. But, um, and some of the people in the airport are also looking at me like I'm maybe a little crazy because I'm talking to myself. But anyway, I'm headed to the gate. I go to Austin and then I sit in Austin for a while and then I come back to Dallas and that's what a turn is. So. Hello. Hello. So as I was walking up to talk to the ops agent about our flight, I found out we have a whole whopping two people checked in for our flight. That's two. So this should be interesting. I picked this trip up just for some extra money. I guess it all worked out because it should be pretty easy. <laughs> um, I'll let y'all know like exactly how many people are, end up being on here, but it shouldn't be probably more than 10. And there's three flight attendants, so maybe we'll all get like one person. So we're riding on an old school plane today. I don't know, it just looks different than any of the planes I've flown on. The exit row is like different. There's a lot, there's a hell of room right here for your feet, legs. It's just, I don't know guys, it's pretty cool. So we're just waiting for our two passengers to get on the plane right now. And then we'll head out. So really money for doing really nothing today. So we ended up with a whole whopping 11 passengers. So. A little more work than I thought. I'm just kidding, it's gonna be easy. Piece of cake. Okay, so we're here. We have like two hours ground time in San Antonio. By the way, guys, I think that I've been saying Austin this whole time, like to the video. I said it on the plane. I said we're going to Austin and everyone looked at me like I was crazy and I was like, oh, I mean San Antonio. So I bet that in my older, my videos that I was recording before this, I probably said Austin. That's not where I'm at. I'm at, I'm in San Antonio. I don't know what's wrong with me. I think I'm more tired than I thought I was. Um, but uh, yeah, I have two hours ground time here, but that's okay because when you have a good crew, that that's the good thing. So I have a really great crew. Say hello. That's Barbara and Rocky. Hello. Rocky is actually from my mom's class too. That's my mom's cousin actually. So 
say hello, hello. hello. She's a sweetheart. And so we, yeah, we're just sitting here. I got my, um, I don't even know what this is. I just know it's horchata Starbucks drink. And they're sneaking out of my uh, video because I don't want to be in it. But it's too late. It's too late. And uh, so anyway, we're just going to sit here and hang out for a while. I'm going to catch up on... Um, some Netflix, well not at Netflix, HBO because I've actually been watching, um, what is the name of that show? Insecure. Do any of y'all watch that show? Um, also I have a lot of downtime so if you, um, if you have good show recommendations, comment them down below for me. Also if you're down there anyway, feel free to like and subscribe. Shameless self promotion but okay. to fly on this plane's last flight. Oh, how sweet. Bye, old guy. We appreciate your service, plane. And now Rocky's going to give me a ride home so I don't have to Uber. She's such an angel. <laughs> oh, home sweet home. Ignore the dirty kitchen. Let's face this way. My living room's a lot cleaner. <laughs> um... But no, I'm back. Everything went great. Um, no complaints here. So, and we only had, I think it was 16 people on the way back. So, such an easy day. I'm really glad I picked this up. And yeah, I'm done. Update. I did want to let you all know, I did hear back from Earl. And he let me know that um, his dogs are okay. So, I am so, 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 so excited to hear that. That made my whole day to learn that. I think his house might need some cleaning up. Well, he just, when he texted me, he said that he just got done cleaning up the mess at his house. So I'm guessing there was some damage, but I know that his biggest concern and my biggest concern for him was those dogs. And so the dogs are okay, so I'm so happy to hear that. And on that happy positive note, I'm going to end this vlog here and go take my little booty to sleep. But, um... Yeah, uh, like, subscribe, comment, let me know um, what y'all want to see next.